All right, guys, welcome back for another shorty video. All right, so today what I wanted to talk about is a common issue that I see with beginners. I see it with my students all the time. Um, this is really common. It's I noticed it's one of the most searched things on YouTube, or it could possibly be one of the more searched terms on YouTube in terms of like Pro Tools and audio engineering stuff. And that is what to do when you can't get your session to open up. So for example, if you notice how I have my computer here, I have Pro Tools is open, but my session is not open. So this is kind of what it might look like. If you go to open your session and you actually click on like the PTX file, for example, or you go file open session and then you open your session and this is all you see. Um, I see this happen for my students all the time and they're like, I can't get my session open. What's going on? Um, and it's a really simple, easy fix. So I figured today I would just show you guys how to handle that situation. So basically I'm going to, I don't actually have a session open yet. So I'm going to open up a session here. And then I'm gonna show you how this happens so that we can see how to prevent it as well as how to fix the issue. So I'm gonna go file, open recent. I'm just opening this mix that I've been working on today. So basically the way that this tends to happen is when the person goes to close out their session instead of doing, and what I recommend doing is you go file and go to close session, or you can go to Pro Tools and quit Pro Tools. And I like this way of closing things out because then your session is definitely closed, right? And so if you go to do this and you've made, I haven't changed anything in the session yet. Let's see. Um, Sorry, I zoned out a little, here we go. So let's say I change this one thing, just so it'll ask me to save here. So if I go to close this session, it's going to now prompt me and ask me if I wanna save. So that's a really good benefit of doing things this way, of actually properly closing the session. You go file, close session, or you go Pro Tools, quit, and it will prompt you if you've made any changes since your last save. So. I recommend doing things that way, but the way this issue tends to arise is people will go to close their session out and they'll think that um, the way you close it out is the way you close out a lot of other programs. So I see how this issue arises, but basically they hit the little red uh, dot here or the red X, depending on what OS you're in. And so now it looks like their session is closed. And so maybe the session gets saved this way, either by the next person that comes and sits down at the computer, you know, if you're in a studio or you're in a, a school environment, sometimes this will happen. Someone else will come out to work on something and they'll go to open up their session and the computer will prompt them just the same way that I showed you because it's going to try to close the session and then reopen the new one that the next student's working on, for example. So the computer will prompt them and ask if they want to save your session. And then what happens is your session gets saved in this format with these windows displaying, which is no windows, right? So then basically what happens is when you then go to open up your session, it's remembering the last way your session was saved and that's with neither of these windows open. So that's how the issue arises and the way you fix it is you just go to window up here. So if you don't have Pro Tools displaying here at the top, what you do is you can, for example, if I have, I don't know, Finder displaying at the top, you can just click on the Pro Tools icon to open up Pro Tools or to toggle to Pro Tools if you already have it open like I just did. And then you just go to Window here and you can just choose your Mix and Edit windows. And now you have them open. You can do Command Equals to switch between the two. And now you're good to go. And you just wanna make sure that you save this session now that you have these windows open so you don't have that issue again, right? So again, if you try to open your session and you don't see anything opening, that's usually the issue. You just wanna to go to the window menu here and open up your mix and your edit window to get back to that uh, default you know, view. So um, I think that's about it. Uh, again, the way you prevent it is you just wanna make sure you go to file and you close your session out properly. Um, and I probably don't need to save. I'm gonna save just to good habits, right? So yeah, that's it. I hope someone found this helpful. I know this is an issue that comes up all the time. Um, it's a very common issue to have. Uh, so I hope someone found this helpful out there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And you know, as always, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, do all these things that you know YouTube people love. I would really appreciate it. Do hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified when I come out with a new video. And if you wanna support my channel more directly, I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Noise. And I will come out with new videos every Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Okay.